A cute fluffy bunny grumpily working on her trip itinerary. Bob Ross as a Muppet, Pixar fur V-Ray renderer. Steampunk cat, Octane render hyper realistic. An AI replacing a human at his creative job. Just think about this for a second. There are systems now, accessible to pretty much everyone watching this video, where you can just type down whatever you think of and the system spits out an image based on your words. This text-to-image generation is done by an artificial intelligence, and there are already a handful of technologies performing this task while getting better and better. After playing around with Midjourney for a while, I was so impressed and inspired that I simply had to make a video on the possibilities this opens. Because text-to-image is just the beginning. We will get to text to video generation in this video. That's where the real craziness starts. Interestingly enough, this idea sort of emerged in reverse. Machine learning algorithms could already analyze images and understand what's in them. If the AI understands what is Bob Ross and what is a Muppet, we should be able to let it transform these concepts into a new image. This problem is much harder, but the recent developments show how far we've come. While I certainly wouldn't consider myself an expert in the field at all, I do have at least some experience with it. For my computer science undergraduate thesis, I built a Unity game environment in which an AI explores different machine learning mechanisms like behavioral cloning and reinforcement learning. I don't really know anymore what the math was all about, but I have a general understanding of how things work. When I wrote this in 2019, I already knew that the impact of AI will continue to grow. But what I very much underestimated is the pace at which it improves. I don't really find an AI beating a human at artificial games like chess or Go that fascinating. But when I saw what AI image generation looks like today, and especially how accessible it already is, I was blown away. What is shocking to me here is that whoever you would have asked, everyone would say that creative tasks are at the end of the list for an AI to perform. Artificial intelligence beating someone at chess does not really mean that an AI that writes meaningful poetry and produces the next Mona Lisa is around the corner. Well, we might already be here now. This AI-generated image recently won an art competition. But what exactly is happening here? Is the AI the creative part or is the human who's typing the prompts the creative part? In an article simply called Creativity, the author Gigi, who quickly became obsessed by text-to-image generation, asked some very interesting questions. Is creativity still valuable when it is generated? What is the difference between a creative solution device by man, a creative solution device by nature, and a creative solution device by machine? Are the models that are birthed and killed by neural networks less real than the models in our heads? What is a model but a useful abstraction? What is a writer but a creative text completion engine? To me, the pace of improvement in the field is really astounding, as is the emergence of new models like the free and open source Stable Diffusion. Where the hell are we gonna be in like 5 years? Or 10 years? One answer to this is obvious to me. We will move from text to image to text to video. That's when things will get really crazy in my eyes. Runway, a New York-based startup, announced exactly that for their online video editor in an impressive video. Runway already leverages AI in many different ways to make creating easier and faster. In painting objects in a moving scene, using green screening on a background that isn't green at all, and motion tracking a subject are all tasks that take hours if done by hand. The team at Runway is constantly researching new AI-based tools for creators, like Soundify, which could surely be a game changer for sound design. Soundify makes it possible to feed in a video, it then identifies what's in the video, and finds a fitting sound effect from a professional sound library. I wouldn't really care about these features if they were only available for a few selected media companies and film studios with supercomputers. I do care because the opposite is the case. Runway is browser-based. You can edit a video on a shitty computer for a very reasonable monthly fee. The same is true for image generation with Midjourney. By the way, the video is not in any way sponsored by Runway or Midjourney. I just want to point out the low price point and therefore accessibility to show how AI tools for content creators are getting more and more democratized, which will lead to content creation to go crazy the title of the video. Now back to the runway announcement. I was really hyped until I realized the claim text to video does not really apply here. At least not the way I want it to work in the future. The first prompt that creates the scene is not actually any AI generated footage. It's just an import of footage from either the user's video library or any other stock library. All other features displayed in the video like make it more cinematic, which is just color correction basically, or the in-painting are things that already existed previously. So yeah, I don't think we have reached the stage of text-to-video generation just yet. 
However, there are many really exciting experiments already that use generated images to create video, like depth maps and random walks, as well as simple animations from stills. I believe creators will use more and more text-generated overlays for special effects and video filters which simply get better and better and better. Btunify, which was just released this month, looks incredible compared to the already good filters we had before. And there is so much more on the horizon, like Descript, which lets you edit a video or podcast like a text document. It transcribes the audio track into text and cuts out segments from your video that you delete in the text file. Cool, right? Well, it gets much cooler. It's not only audio to text, but also the reverse. Text back to audio. They call it overdub. Just type what you meant to say right into Descript. I'm pretty sure this is a 7th edition Creature Kawaii. I haven't tried it yet, but it's just another example of how helpful AI will be to creators. The looming fear of computers replacing creatives is unfounded in my eyes. These two pictures came from my first text prompts in Midjourney. One shows a human getting depleted of his energy in the presence of an AI or robot, and the other one the man literally bows to the center stage AI as sort of a resignation from his job. If you don't adapt, then yes, you might be out of a job eventually. And yeah, stock photography might actually be super dead very soon. But if you embrace technological change and use what's handed to you, boy will whatever you make level up. It's all about working with machines and not against them. Use AI to generate ideas and inspiration and work from there to reach your final product. Plain and simple, as a creative, it's time to get creative. Over decades, video equipment and post-production has become cheaper and cheaper. Now you get tools that create whatever you envision on top of fast browser-based video editing. Like, what are you waiting for? You already know my take about how it's the best time in human history to become a creator and why building an audience might be the most leveraged activity out of everything you can do. Oh wait, you don't know my take on this and the reasoning behind it? Well, then check out this video. It's pretty good, I promise. See you next time.